Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we head up to Lake Erie and fish for walleye. We then prepare walleye francais with our catch. But first, Youngstown Cityscape breathes new life into Brill's flowers on Youngstown's west side. Well, if you have not heard, Youngstown Cityscape has purchased Brill's Flowers right here on the west side. Sharon Ledson is the executive director for Cityscape, and this is an ambitious project you have taken on. Well, I, you know, hats off to our board and to our funders for us to have been yes. able to purchase, and um, it's exciting. Well, there are a lot of plans. We've been talking, and we're in the greenhouse right now, and Brills was here for almost 100 years. Little you know, shy. Yeah, yeah. Right across from Calvary Cemetery, and I had a flower account here. Um, I just think of all the times we've received flowers from Brills. Well, I think they were well known yes. for uh, their quality and really their fairness and pricing and, yes. uh, and the, their beauty. So. Yeah. And what are your plans? I mean, there is so much here. Wait till we show you some of the different areas. What are you thinking well, you're going to do with this gorgeous space? Well, first of all, um, you know, this is, this is a little change in terms of what people typically think of nonprofits as doing, mm -hmm. but it's really a social enterprise. It's a business. You know, we plant all the flowers downtown. We share flowers throughout the city with neighborhood groups, but we wanted to cut our costs some way and figure out if, if we grew our own plants and uh, uh, if we started a, a, a social enterprise, a business that people would support that uh, would, would allow us to do bigger and uh, better things and have more impact throughout the whole city. Well, you know, if you, and, and I know you're getting people involved that are gardeners and that really know what's happening, mm -hmm. but think about um, growing species or flowers that are native to our zone that will, you know, you know that in the spring we're gonna have this and in the summer and even in the winter, right. I, I really think that could really help our whole community and well, people could come and learn about these things. We think that and our partners think that, that too. The Mahoning County Land Bank is one of our partners. Yes. They have all these parcels throughout the city. Uh, how they look, you know, they have to be very careful about how they're planning what they're gonna do on those those parcels and it's exciting to partner with them for them to be growing native species to for our community to have access to these kinds of things. Who, who else is uh, joining you in this? Well we have some other partners Community Corrections Association mm -hmm. we've had a long-term relationship with them their male population has helped, helped us downtown in the beginning years they yes. watered they still cut the grass and do a number of uh, beautification kind of things. Their female population did not have an uh, opportunity for work experience. So, so we're hoping that they, this greenhouse will be of interest to them to teach them a skill. Um, could be, it, it can be a, an exciting partnership. Uh, we also are hoping for garden club participation. Oh, Some yeah. of the garden clubs that have grown their own flowers that are interested. Um, you, you know, I, I think what we really have tried to do is keep an open mind about what we might be able to do. Eventually we'll get to a point where it will operate as both a flower shop and a greenhouse. But we're going to take it as baby steps. We're going to try to integrate it in pieces and parts. You know, classes. How You know, how to test your your soil, exactly. how to, yes. a flower arranging class. I think yeah. people want experiences. I mean, there really is a lot that you can do with this space. I mean, it's huge. Well, my hat's off to our board for stepping up and realizing that we had the ability, um, you know, our chair had a vision to, to see the, the possibility and our donors because again this this is 
not what you typically see, but it really is the trend. Nonprofits really do need to have a revenue stream, and your social impact can be connected to a revenue stream. Exactly. It, it's so it's it's a good thing. It's Instead a good of thing. always going with your hat in hand, yeah. now you're able yes. to generate your own funds. Right. I mean, it's right. it's perfect. Well, you got to remember the old retail space here, and it is really been well maintained. I love that desk, by the way. You gotta <laughs> see this madman desk. But, you know, I can remember coming to the counter and I'm gonna help you right now. What can I get you, ma'am? Oh, I want 16 bouquets, please, 16. today. Okay, I think we're a little light on flowers right now. <laughs> I will put an order in for that. But what are you gonna do with this? This is a good retail space It's here. great retail space. And, and, and this space, is really going to be for our makers, our Youngstown makers. Yeah. We want to include them in this space. So I'm not sure what that meat looks like. Maybe it's Rocky Ridge syrup oh, on our shelves. Yes. Maybe it's somebody that makes homemade soaps. Uh, maybe it's someone that is a, a knitter and we have does so many, We have so many yeah, cottage, cottage industries, industry. <laughs> right, right. right, who are looking for places to be able to sell their goods. And so this is a way for, for our, our cityscape at Brills to support uh, those industries. I think we're all looking for unique things and a way to support local. Exactly. And uh, those are things that have been important to Youngstown Cityscape, and we're going to continue them at Cityscape at Brills. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Kamara Jewelers is the place to buy an engagement ring because we want a relationship with you that lasts a lifetime. Your commitment with her is the same commitment we have to you. We want to sit down with you and teach you about diamonds so you're educated on what you're buying. We have the largest selection we ever have, which is the largest in the area and at the best value. And if it's not something in our case, we could always custom make it. We can make any dream come true. Get real, get Kamara. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. I'm Elizabeth Bernard. For more than 30 years, I've provided our Valley with sound legal advice. My associate Jennifer Rigetti and I will be your legal representatives if you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident. Don't try to handle it yourself. We'll navigate the red tape of dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the obstacles that you'll face. Remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases, and hiring a lawyer does not mean you have to go to court. Call attorney Elizabeth Bernard, local legal experience for more than 30 years. Family-owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full-service, independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies, so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. 
let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Woolen. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolen, close by with three locations to serve you. Well, you remember my buddy Jimmy Longo from It's About Time Fishing Charters. Well, we came back, and this time we are fishing for walleye. And we just landed, and you're going to see the footage from uh, earlier in the day. But it is such a different style, Jimmy, when you fish for walleye. I mean, it's much more intricate. I mean, why is that? Correct. Well, that's how you have to fish for them. On this end of the lake, because we're in deeper water, and you have to troll for them, and that consists of. Uh, I mean, there's like eight poles that we have going trying well, to yeah, catch Yeah, we had uh, we had 14 poles out actually. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm bad at counting. Not good at math. But what has happened to the perch? You know, I mean, it's all about the walleye right now. And a few years ago, when we went out, I mean, the perch were plentiful. Correct. Uh, nobody knows for sure. And this is so much more involved, you know, 14 lines, but we did pretty good, I must say. At the beginning, it was a little iffy. We got a late start. Thank you, Fast Freddy. And, uh, we got Jimmy and Freddy and uh, Ken and Carrie, Carrie. Carrie. our very me? first, she, this was her uh, maiden voyage on a fishing boat, and uh, we really did have a good time. These maiden guys. voyage. It's her maiden voyage, Carrie. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what did she, she get? She did good. She did good. Well, she got a free beer and a... And she a, got and a free a, beer, a Casey Malone show hat, and... And, and a wrap, and a, a rib wrap. Oh, and I made my special rib wraps just for her. You know, that's really cool, too. You know, when you go out partying with Casey Malone, like on something like this, you know you're going to get good food. And that's, that's right. That's the one thing about that. Good you know sandwiches. you're going to get good Josh, food. Josh, yeah. you liked them, didn't you? Amazing sandwiches. They're great. Yep. Yeah, thumbs up. So, um, now, how late can we fish for walleye? How how long into the season are, are you taking um, people in, out? Uh, into September. Oh. And, uh, Usually in September, not all, but the majority of walleye, they start to migrate back west, so they leave. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know my buddy Fast Freddy, also a fisherman, as well as Lapata, Jimmy, my neighbor. And you've been on every fishing trip I've ever been on. That's right. And of course, we have to make a bet, right? We throw five bucks in the pot, and whoever catches the biggest fish gets all that money. Ooh, like $30. So, who do you think catches the biggest fish? First you one think, out. You would think. Okay. Who would you think or who actually did? Well, who all would you right. think? I would think me, but. Okay, but it wasn't. No. Because you were late and you were punished. So, it was Lapata. He caught, and really, well, how many pounds was that? Oh, I don't even know. I bet you it was a six pounder. It was a big walleye. Eight pounds carry. Well, she is now a pro and an authority, and she knows her captains. I just, I don't, nobody's paid though. That's, I don't understand. Well, at the Moose Club, we're gonna settle up. We're gonna settle up at the Moose Club. Well, now that we're back in dock, you really did a nice job as first mate. Now, w would you say that we were a tough crew? You were a great crew. If you guys did what you were told, wound have been, like I said, most of our I like the way you say it. I like the way you yelled at Freddie all the time. Said, <laughs> You're not bass fishing. Yeah. You're not bass fishing. <laughs> slow, slow, quit jerking it. Yeah. So what is the difference? Uh, so if you're on wall like We're already trolling two and a half mile an hour. And it seems like when you're riding too fast, two and a half mile an hour, you're pulling out the hooks because we're only using Bomber 24As on wire. Oh and, yeah, Bomber 24As, I should have known that. We're also using Dipsies with little and big spoons. Speed was about two and a half mile an hour. It kept them quite busy, so we did a good day. Good day. Where did you learn all your- I've been fishing uh, up here for about 30 years. I've been chartering for about seven now, so. So I, I just want to say that I was probably using the 24 Bs, and that's why I wasn't getting all the fish. <laughs> Not I, the 24 A's. I was using the 24 Bs. I got to tell you, and Josh really made it scientific. Yes. Would you yes. go fishing with us again? I would, because I honestly, I don't, I would never go by myself. But when you have a crew of, of, of lovely people to fish with, it was a really good time. I don't know. 
I cannot believe we're lovely. The yes. pad is lovely. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> and now he's going to invite us over to his house and, and have this big fish That's fryer. right. We're going to do a walleye fry. It doesn't get much more That's lovely. Right. Yeah, the fruits of our labor. And uh, Carrie, we are going to come back again. And we're going to do like an early fall fishing. We are not going to bring Bill. Bill has a little uh, queasy stomach. So Bill will just tell you about it. And, um, <laughs> but we are coming back. And uh, Londo's taking us back out again. Are you in? Well, absolutely, I wouldn't go with anybody else. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Well, I am here with Rude, the dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And it is never too early to start planning your parties. No, okay, so yeah, we have our banquet room that's attached to the building here for, you know, upcoming graduations, communion, things of that nature. Uh, we also have a catering menu for offsite. So if you're interested in just letting us cook for you for your parties, uh, we can do that. So if you want to check out our websites, uh, you can see what we have to offer. And what is the capacity under COVID guidelines for the side room? Following all the COVID guidelines, we can hold up to 80 people. Oh, so, I mean, you can still party safely here at the Magic Tree. And I gotta tell you, that menu, you have more farmers on that menu than the Canfield Fair. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we love to support local here at Magic Tree, so supporting our local breweries and farms is what we like to do. And the biggest selection of craft beer, it's all here, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. I got COVID before the vaccine was available. I spent three weeks in a coma, 97 days in the hospital. My lungs failed, my kidneys failed. They asked my wife three times to pull the plug. We have eliminated polio, measles, mumps, and other viruses through vaccinations. We will eradicate COVID with vaccinations. You don't wanna to have to go through what I did. Get the shot, protect yourself, protect your family. Thank you. Direction Home of Eastern Ohio, providing resources and access to the COVID vaccine. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering. It has transformed my basement and expanded my family's living space. It's easy to clean, withstands flooding, and will never need replaced. You will love your basement. Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. Call today to save 60% off your new Pebble Stone floor for a limited time only. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. I'm all about local, and my bank is Farmers National Bank. Farmers is the true hometown bank in the Mahoney Valley, standing strong for our local families and businesses since 1887. Farmers is also future focused with a lab branch, interactive teller machines, and best in class mobile mortgage app. We've all learned the value of local relationships, businesses, and communities. Switch to Farmers. GABA Camp is happening now. Your help is needed. GABA Camp is an educational camp for those with disabilities. Your donations will build a barrier-free vacation spot for those with special needs. Donate now. Giving is living. You better come on in my kitchen. Always fun when yes. Ken joins me in the kitchen. I'm back. So uh, we are going to prepare walleye francais with the fish, 
we just caught. It's way different when you fish for walleye than for perch because you're trolling and those lines there's like a little meter next to the fishing pole right, and it shows right. that it could be three or four hundred feet away yeah, or more and more or less and then what is it with the each okay turn? so you know so you one one in. turn is four inches roughly right <laughs> okay Three turns, four inches would be a foot. And I was never that good at math, yes, right? So, so three turns is a foot. You're 472 feet away. How many turns is that? I don't know, but I'll get my calculator. Okay, I'm it's over you, a thousand, I know that. There was, it was a, a lot, lot of turns. turns. For this recipe, you'll need one to two pounds of walleye fillets, two eggs beaten, one cup of milk, one half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of chopped parsley, one teaspoon of Frank's hot sauce, one cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of fresh ground black pepper, two cups of canola oil, one half cups of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one cup of chicken stock, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and chopped parsley for garnish. So Ken is getting the oil heated up in a very nice large skillet and we are gonna get our dipping ready to go. So I just add pepper to the flour mixture and not salt. So we mix this up and then we already have our beaten egg and then we are going to add to this the milk then we are also gonna add the half cup of Parmesan cheese, and boy, does that make a really nice batter for the walleye. You're gonna love it. Then I'm gonna add white pepper, one teaspoon of Frank's hot sauce. So that is our batter. And I'm just going to mix this together. Does that look good? It looks great. Oh, and just a pinch of parsley, just a pinch. Why don't you flour? And then you'll take it from there. And then there. I'll take it from there. So look at how nice those are. So you'd like to cut these down. Yeah, so. we did cut these. These are not full size flakes because they're just easier to eat and there's not as much waste. And we'll just like that. And put that there. And then flour. And then that. That looks good. Now we are going to go to the stove and we are gonna start frying up this fish. So make sure your oil's hot enough, 350, 375. It's very important that your oil's hot enough. Because we want these to fry right up to a nice golden brown. Ooh. And it won't take long at all. Three minutes. Oh, that's perfect. That looks great. So we fried up the fish, and I did forget to, uh, to mention that I preheated the oven to 350, and now I have it warming in the oven while I get the Francais sauce together. And this is very, very easy. All we're gonna do is melt two tablespoons of butter. The chip chicken stock okay and then we're gonna bring this to a little bit of a simmer I'm gonna put it up on high and then we're going to add the lemon juice and we are just going to let this simmer and thicken up a little bit before we add our fried fillets back in well would you like to do the francais sure why don't buddy. you do it all right okay so now we pulled it out of the oven and now we're just going to let it saute for a little bit in our juices that we've made. See how it's nice and bubbly? Does this get turned? Yes. Oh my, look at that. From Lake Erie to the Francais pool. That's right. So why don't we let it this finish up and then we'll plate it, we'll show you how to make your presentation and we are going to enjoy some wildlife Francais. So now, we have it nice and plated. We're going to now use our sauce that we made and drizzle it over each piece. Oh, nice. Then we add a little chopped parsley. Isn't that pretty? It's 
It's my favorite part. And then I have some lemons. See, for each piece. Isn't that pretty? Kendall Jackson, little KJ Reserve Rosé. Okay. Love it. I love the screw top. So much easier. All right. Let's see. Well, first, a toast. A toast. Let's go back on the boat. To six foot waves and 36 walleye. Ooh. Delicious. Captain Jimmy. All right. Let's see how we did. Mmm, this looks so good. There's nothing like fresh fish. And this, honestly, is best strong quality. Mouth. You could make this <clears throat> for your friends and family and they would love it. You can also use this for chicken or anything else, but I think the walleye, oh my gosh, this really enhances the walleye. It's delicious. So thanks for having me back on. You are welcome anytime. This is where you live. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, it is true, yeah. I, I do show up here every now and yeah. then. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Ooh. So much fun. That's delicious. Just go to my website, caseymalonshow.com, and the recipe for walleye francais will be there. And you are going to love it. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.